So back when Rainbow Six Siege launched in December of 2015, there was the option of 5 CTUs available in the game, all of which including 4 operators, 2 on attack, and 2 on defense. These CTUs were the SAS, the FBI SWAT, the GIGN, Spetsnaz, and the GSG-9. However, alongside this roster of unique operators, each CTU included some nameless soldiers who went by the alias of Recruit, and each recruit had the availability of the weapons for the CTUs on their respective sides. So the attacking recruits who were part of the SAS had the attacker's weapons from the SAS, and likewise on defense, they had access to the defensive weapons from that CTU. And the major thing that separated recruits from normal mainline operators is the fact that they did not have any unique gadgets. Rather, they had the availability to bring two secondary gadgets, whereas normal operators could only bring one. And when they were first conceived, they sat as an operator who would be there if you had no other operators unlocked. And this was at the beginning of the game when there was only a certain amount of operators, and a lot of people were still starting off and haven't unlocked everyone yet. Nowadays, it's quite rare to see people buying the game which doesn't include a bunch of the operators from years past. But a lot of you guys may be aware that there was a different recruit who was available for a limited time who was meant to come back quite recently, but was unfortunately seemingly cancelled, for reasons we'll get into in a minute, but first, let's explain who this recruit was. So by the time of year 3 in Rainbow Six Siege, it was clear that Ubisoft were quite certain that they were going to keep supporting this product and wanted to see what they could do with it. The game was as popular as ever, and Ubisoft were looking for new routes to take the gameplay. So at this time, I was still relatively new to Siege, I only joined two seasons prior in Operation Blood Orchid, and I remember hearing through my friends at school, and through some YouTube videos, that there was going to be some sort of zombies mode coming to Rainbow Six Siege. And honestly, back then, I wasn't massively invested in the game, I thought it sounded cool, didn't know if it was going to be real or not, and I just continued with my life really and didn't think much of it. However, that is when we got the announcement that in Year 3 Season 1, Operation Chimera, there was going to be a limited 4 week event, which was going to be the Rainbow Six franchise's spin on a zombie shooter genre. As well as this, if I'm not wrong, this was the first time we started to get premium packs as well with the Outbreak Collection. And so, Year 3 Season 1 comes around in March of 2018, I'm sitting in my bedroom playing a PlayStation 4 which sounds like it's about to take off in any minute, and the rumoured Outbreak event is finally here, and it's extremely fun. It had interesting enemies, fun new gameplay mechanics which would later make their way into operators, for example, getting hit by a smasher would later be implemented into Nomad's air jabs, interesting new locations and maps, there was actually some missions with some stories as well, one of them you had to save Jaeger from the infected, after his helicopter crashed, and one of the major things as well, this was the first time we ever got to see all these attacking and defending operators working on the same side against a common enemy. Yes, technically the whole white masks and situations is them working against a white mask, but for gameplay reasons, we don't get to see them on the same team. However, this outbreak event was different. Regardless of what side an operator was on, they could be playable in this mode, although there was a limited list. And this list was Smoke, Ash, Doc, Glaz, Capcan, Tachanka, Buck, Ying, two brand new operators, Lion and Finca, and finally, a new and improved version of Recruit. Not only was Recruit a playable in this mode, but he had an entire brand new look. This version of Recruit had his face revealed, a brand new headgear and uniform, as well as having an entire set of new voice lines, making him even more distinct from the original Recruit in the game. And these recruits were also exclusively part of the FBI SWAT, and although he had some FBI weapons in his loadout, he also had access to other weapons such as some Spetsnaz ones, the SAS, as well as weapons from the Hong Kong operators Legion and Ying. They even went through the effort of making brand new Recruit icons, which was more in line with this version of the skin, removing the beret and wearing a helmet. So to many people, including myself, this seemed like a clear upgrade to Recruit. He seemed to have more personality than ever, and I assumed that they were going to make this the main default version of Recruit in the main game going forward. And so the Outbreak event ends, and Recruit just remains being his simple self. And Recruit remained this way all the way up until Operation Void Edge, which is Year 5 Season 1, where the recruits get a little rework which removed the CTU aspect from them, and rather with their loadouts being part of the CTU they represent, you now just have the option to use some weapons from across the board, and Recruit doesn't represent anyone. And to this day, that is how Recruit still operate. However, the unique FBI SWAT version of Recruit from the Outbreak event was set to make a return quite recently. After the success of the Outbreak event in Operation Chimera, Ubisoft started to make a spin-off game to Rainbow Six Siege, which was going to build upon the foundations which were made in the Outbreak event and become its own game. And after its initial reveal in E3, countless delays and name changes, this game released as Rainbow Six Extraction. And this game launched in January of 2022, and over a year later, the game has already been cancelled by Ubisoft and no new content is coming to it. And I'm not going to start dunking on Extraction here, and I'm not going to talk about how it failed, I've already made videos about that, you can go check them out, but just know I enjoyed the gameplay of Rainbow Six Extraction, I thought it was pretty fun, it just shouldn't have been a standalone game. And so Rainbow Six Extraction is in a separate timeline, it's established back in Operation Chimera, there was a little bit of a timeline split, where in the Siege timeline, there was no alien outbreak, and then in this new Extraction timeline, you had the outbreak and you had the events of the event itself. And so, with Rainbow Six Extraction, this unique version of Recruit was set to make a return. 
return. However, with new updates to the game being cancelled and no more content coming, it seems like the return of the fan favourite recruit has been stripped away from us. So how do we know that this unique version of recruit was going to be making his grand return in Rainbow Six Extraction? So there was a player out there who claimed that there was a massive lag spike when they were playing, and when they ended up extracting at the end of the mission, one of these operators showed as being none other than the Outbreak version of recruit from Operation Chimera. As well as this, it was found in the data files that there was an icon for this version of recruit as well, and these are the same icons which you can see on the operators when you're playing them and on the operator screen in the main menu. And Ubisoft, don't get mad at me for talking about data mining by the way, you've already jumped ship on this game, it's clear that you've done that before it launched, I actually enjoyed and supported the game, heck I even bought and wore a Rainbow Six Extraction jacket and wore it to Montreal during SI 2023, so don't get mad at me for talking about unreleased content in a game that you cancelled and I clearly cared about more than you did. And so with this bug and this data mined asset, there is proof right there that Recruit was going to be added to Rainbow Six Extraction, and more importantly, it was going to be the fan favourite version from the Outbreak event. To this day, this is still my favourite version of Recruit, I just like how he looks, I think that's one of the best designs Recruit has ever had. There's also going to be two versions of Recruit in the upcoming Rainbow Six Mobile, one for attack and one for defence. So it does seem like these new versions of Recruit are going to get their time to shine, but it is just quite a shame that the Outbreak version of Recruit never really got its chance in a full game. A lot of you guys may have seen my video talking about why I think Recruit should become a full fledged operator with customization and everything, and to this day, where we're not far off going into year 8 season 2, I still stand by that statement, and I 100% believe that if they do ever add Recruit customization, that this version of Recruit from the Outbreak event should become a skin, or maybe even an elite skin for Recruit, because this unique character in Rainbow Six Siege history shouldn't be limited to a 4 week event which happened a few years ago, and it would be nice to see this version of Recruit make its return at some point. I think something that's quite cool is that Ubisoft's new free to play shooter, X Defiant, which is basically a Ubisoft crossover shooting game, and basically it takes factions from a bunch of Ubisoft games and makes them playable, and you can choose which faction you want to play with, and they have unique gadgets and abilities, and it could be really cool if they have a faction purely just for Team Rainbow, and the four different playable characters in it would be the four different versions of Recruit, the default one from Siege, the one from Outbreak, and the one that was meant to be an extraction, and the two versions from Rainbow Six Mobile. I personally think that would be a nice homage to all the versions of Recruit, and would just be a really nice thing to have. So if you're like me and you are a fan of this version of Recruit, then be sure to drop a like on this video and share it, and let's try and get Ubisoft know that we want this version back. And hey, what have I told you, there was another secret version of Recruit which existed in the closed beta for Rainbow Six Siege, where he looked a bit similar to how we have him right now, but does have a little bit of difference to him. But yeah, that was the story of the unique FBI SWAT version of Recruit that was deployed during the Outbreak event. Maybe one day he will get his grand return into Rainbow Six Siege, or another Rainbow Six title, but for now he'll represent the best event which ever happened in Rainbow Six Siege, and one of the biggest failures in the Rainbow Six franchise. So everyone, as always, be sure to leave your thoughts in the comment section below, drop a like on this video if you did enjoy, dislike if you did not, subscribe if you are new. I shall catch you all later, I love you all, stay safe, peace.